Hey, welcome in and thank you for joining this playthrough of Marvel Champions the Card Game in which Valkyrie and Aggression will be taking on an expert master mold. This series is part of the Perfect Matchup series by Get Up and Game, so be sure to go check out his past videos. And I hope this can be an exhibit of how elite that Valk can be. This is a fun game. Let's get into it. Okay, so here it is. We have Valk. I know we love to hate on Valkyrie, but I don't play her that much. And playing her recently, she's, it's been awesome. This this matchup is really fun. So looking at her deck, her cards are Valhalla is pretty sweet where you get to you get to draw and heal. You have Dragon Fang, which gets her attack up. Aragorn gets her health points, her hit points up. Choose her to slain, incredible card. You get to go grab a minion, do her thing, draw two cards. We get Havathi, which is pretty good attack. Um, I mean, I guess three for seven. Not great, so maybe I'll take that back, but anyway. And then Flight of Valkyrie, things like that. It's, I, at least, you know, those top cards I had fun with. Um, Death Glow, right? Her gimmick is you spend, attach, attack, ready. Um, and for this scenario specifically, we have Magneto coming in, um, and that's going to help with Thwart and some extra attack because I guess Valk needs it. <laughs> she definitely for thwarting. Um, so with this, because we're bringing in um, so many minions, especially with Master Mold, we are bringing three of our bring -its along. We have Mean Swings, um, just to add on to the attacks when we need it, because we can exhaust our weapons. And then um, get up in game, Josh, he included Piercing Strike in his video, and I just wanted to honor that and bring that in. And then I included these two first aids, which is a card I rarely use, but the idea here was to use it on Magneto because we'll want him thwarting and we'll want to keep him alive. And if he's thwarting, he's not getting to heal. And so we also have our upgrades. We have combat training to get more attack, Hall of Heroes, which will you know let us draw extra cards from all the minions we're slaying. Um, lock and load and superpower training, these are in here mostly so we can make sure that we get Dragon Fang as soon as possible. Um, I don't know, you can, add these or not I kind of enjoyed adding them because even if I get to use them it's a card that gets out of the deck um, and then we have a good amount of allies here we have Marvel Boy, Sunfire, Angela she brings out minions, um, Throg we have our energy spear which um, ideally gets we have spider girl energy spear and bug I had these mixed up um, I kind of like this because bug will get piercing and then we're able to heal him and he gets the plus two attack. And then I added this keep them busy as well, which is a cheaper Flight of the Valkyrie. Um, but this can only remove from the main scheme, but that's mostly what we're worried about with her. So we have our three doubles and then two power regressions. And that is the Valkyrie deck. I'm a big fan of it. It was a blast to play, honestly, especially when you get a bunch of minions. So I hope you guys enjoy. For our encounter deck, this is Master Mold. Um, you know, he loves to bring out Sentinels, bring out minions. Valkyrie loves to slay them, so it's a good mix. Um, he comes in with Sentinels as his mandatory, and then honestly, Operation Project Zero, no, Operation Zero Tolerance is probably an inc <laughs> the best um, encounter set to go with this, but I, I kind of blundered, and I, in my head, thought that Operation Zero Tolerance was a permanent setup, and I was like, you know what? Valk loves to throw out minions, and we have those minions in our deck. I want to block. I didn't want to lose the game to that. And then I'm realizing now, after the fact, I've already played this game, that <laughs> there, <laughs> uh, we didn't have to do that. We could have just included it and got more Sentinels. But you know what? It was fun. We got the aliens, we got the Badoons, and uh, aliens and robots teaming up to attack us, and Valkyrie had fun with it. So we have... Um, you know, our obligation that goes in that can bring out, this doesn't bring out Enchantress, uh, Pursued by the Past might. Anyways, obligation, we have our Enchantress as our nemesis, and then we are using Standard 3, which is my favorite standard, and then Expert 3, or Expert 3, <laughs> just our uh, original expert here. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let's get started here. We are going to come look at the um, main scheme here. We put the Magneto ally into play. We are going to flip. This comes in with one <clears throat> threat on it, and we are going to discard until we get a Sentinel minion. Um, 
we get the Sentinel Mark VI. I'm not sure if I shuffled on camera or not, um, but I'll just shuffle these up anyway, just to make sure. Um, he gets put into play here, which is definitely a tough one um, with six health coming out, but we'll see what we do. We're gonna do Brunhilde here, shuffle her up, and go ahead and draw. So we are drawing one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's see. There's definitely some things we want here. We don't need this early on. Chooser of the Slain is great. Energy's great. Energy can play all of Heroes. Um, Shield Maiden, bring it. We might as well hang on to it because we're going to do Chooser of the Slain. And then we will get rid of these two. All right, and then draw two more. So one and two. So we're going to visit Valhalla and Dragonfang. Oh my goodness. Awesome start. Awesome, awesome, awesome start. Um, visit Valhalla. I might as well bring a Flight of the Valkyrie in case I can play it. Um, might as well switch it out. It'll most likely 99% be a um, resource anyway, but we'll see. So here's Deathglow. Just wondering where that went. All right, so we are going to flip up now. And we want to play Hall of Heroes. One, do Chooser of the Slain here. I'll just start with Chooser of the Slain. And so um, we already have a minion. So I'm going to go grab a Badoon Grunt because we put this into play with us. A Badoon Grunt is just two health. And since we already have a minion, um, he doesn't deal us the encounter card. So we will bring him out with Chooser of the Slain. We draw two cards. Angela, first aid. Um... Let's do, let's do Valkyrie things. We're gonna play Angela and we'll go look for another minion. Let's just start slinging min minions out here. Um, so we're gonna look at the top 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, sweet. And we saw what we want, which is gonna be the Dune Grunt. Um, she entered play, we searched the top 10 cards and we're gonna put this into play with and engage with us. So another Badoon Grunt, and then we will, I'm sure, shuffle all these back into here. Okay, so we're off to an awesome start. This is uh, this is Valkyrie at her best here. So we're bringing out minions. We did choose her the slain. We're gonna bring it and draw three cards. So we're gonna draw one, uh, two, and three. We can't play two bring it's, but that's okay. Um, I will. Sweet, we're gonna drop Power of Aggression to drop um, Hall of Heroes. A First Aid can play our Dragon Fang, uh, which we'll put up here. So we get um, plus one attack and plus two with Death Glow attached with that. And then, <clears throat> let's see. So I don't wanna be hasty and play Flight of the Valkyrie because we gotta see what we can do here. Because we do have a weapon, so we can lean swing. Cool, so let's. What all can we do? Um, a ton of stuff. <laughs> so we can have Valkyrie. Let's see. I'm trying to think how Hall of Heroes works with, it says after you defeat a minion, if that's Valkyrie or us. I feel like I've seen people play it as only your hero. Um, I'm actually going to go look that up because that makes a big difference in what I'm about to do. Be right back. All right, so back to this. I have to defeat an ally for it to be put on Hall of Heroes. That's fine. So we'll see if we can knock out all these allies. But we do want to take them all out, which means we want to take out a Mark VI. So we might not end up doing that. So I might... Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to make it easier. I'm just going to use Angela to attack and get rid of one of these. And so this way, I'm not going to have to think about it. Um, that doesn't trigger Hall of Heroes, and we're okay with that. I'm going to play a Bring It to put Death Glow onto Badoon Grunt. And then Valkyrie is going to defeat this one. So I'm going to swing and attack him for four. Badoon Grunt goes away. And Death Glow comes back. We get one on Hall of Heroes, and then we ready. Boom. And then 
in this case, sweet. So I will four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I will mean swing this time. Um, we don't have to put death glow onto him, that's okay. So I'm gonna mean swing for and uh, exhaust my dragon fang. So we're attacking for three, four, five, six. Sweet. And so Sentinel Mark six goes away, we get another on Hall of Heroes. And I'm comfortable with that. We will, no, yeah, no, we're, we're good with that. We don't have to worry about Magneto. Um, we'll let him thwart and be our thwarter. We're good with that. So we're gonna ready everyone up. Oh, before that, we're gonna play the Flight of the Valkyor and then ready everything up. And now we're gonna drop to five. One, two, three, four, and five. Sweet. Oh, Aragorn, we love to see that. Choose her slain. Okay, all coming together. Valkyrie's doing her thing right now. So we are going to move over to here, put one on the main. Master Mold's gonna attack. We have are gonna throw Angela in front of this. I'm trying to remember why I would have taken one damage. I don't think I would have taken any damage yet. Um, so I'm gonna move that back up. I don't think any card I've played deals with that. I think I just started it with the wrong, the wrong thing here. So anyway, 12 is what our starting hit points are. Um, we are going to let Angela take this hit. He's attacking for three, uh, four, five. That takes out Angela. And then we're getting an encounter card, which is going to be Alter Ego. Each minion attacks you. If no minion, Master Mold attacks us. So Master Mold is attacking. Um, don't really want to waste anything by using Shield Maiden. We have our full health and we're about to play the Aragorn, so we'll just take this hit. He's attacking for three, four, five. So we go down from 12, down to seven, and yeah, that works. So, I'm trying to think what would have dealt us one damage or did I start with 11 health? Sentinel Mark, six. Had Quick Strike. But he was our first sentinel. So he wouldn't have attacked us. Okay. Cool. My mistake. So we are good with all that. He attacked us. It comes back to us now. So we will play this chooser of the slain. And we're gonna go grab not a Dune Grunt this time, because we don't want the encounter card. So who else could we get? We could we don't want the Sentinel Mark Six because quick strike hits on engaging. There is a Badoon with four health. We might go grab that. Where is he? Badoon Warlord with four health. Yeah, we'll grab him. Sweet, so we're gonna bring him out with Chooser of the Slain, and then we will draw two cards, Genius and Valhalla. Oh my goodness, we're getting everything. This is fantastic. So. Yeah, let's see, we will play our two upgrades. So we're gonna play Aragorn and we get plus four hit points and the aerial trait, but I don't think I have any aerial in here. Um, we're gonna go up to 11 health and then I'm gonna play Valhalla as well. And so now whenever I attack and defeat someone with death glow, I get to draw a card. So I will um, spend Shield Maiden to attach Death Glow. We have our Badoon Warlord in front of us. We will attack him for two, three, four, which is the perfect amount. And so <clears throat> Death Glow comes off and things happen. We have, um, we don't need Flight of the Valkyrie to hit. We will exhaust Valhalla and draw a card and Annabelle Riggs, that's helpful. And then we heal one damage, up to 12. And then Hall of Heroes goes up to three. And we ready. So let's see, what else can we do? 
Um, Master Mold has his tough on him. We don't want this to pop. Ugh, I could use a mean swing and attack, but it would just hit the tough unless, because this doesn't gain piercing. Oh, that, um, the tough, this is a tough decision. Because <laughs> we can attack with Magneto to get rid of the tough and then do a big attack, but I kind of want to flip down since we have Annabelle rigs and Hall of Heroes. Yeah, so we're just going to have Magneto um, thwart off the two here. He's going to take one. We're going to flip down and then discard Mean Swing. And that is a okay. So we are going to draw up to one. We're going to hang on Annabelle rigs. So we have two, three, four, five, and six. Cool. So we'll see what we do here. Um, we are going to flip over to Master Mold. We're going to put one on the main. He's going to scheme for two. So two automatically goes on to here. And then we are going to discard until we get a Sentinel, Sentinel minion. And so we're still discarding. The Mark VI comes out, and Mark VI is going to scheme for two, I believe. So now this goes up to five out of six. So not totally ideal, but we will um, get our encounter card now. It's going to flip and stun beam. So we attach to a Sentinel minion without this. After he attacks and damages, stun that character. That's fine. We're going to get rid of Sentinel Mark VI. So it's back to us. Do we have anything we want to do? Maybe Annabelle, but do I really want to do that right now? I feel like the resources are too important for combat training and have at the... Yeah, we... Oh, wait. What am I thinking? We're going to exhaust Hall of Heroes. Then we can really get cooking because we're going to draw three cards. So one, two, and three. Okay, now I feel a little bit better about playing um, uh, Annabelle here. So we might as well. So let's do lock and load for sure. We're not going to need. And then Throg plus Energy Spear could be interesting. Um, so yeah, we're going to instead, I think, get rid of Valkyrie Spear because I'm interested in what else things have for us. So we're going to play Annabelle. We are going to exhaust her to look at the top card, five cards of our deck. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And we get no, oh God. Okay, so we get no um, Valkyrie cards. Alrighty, so that was a whiff. Oh well. Um, we're going to shuffle these. I guess I could have try to calculate a little bit if what's in there but I'm not too worried about it that's okay we whiffed on that we will flip up to Valkyrie here um, we want to do a lot of things we definitely want to Valhalla should be ready Magneto's readied forgot to unexhaust them uh, we will we might as well play the bring it just to because nothing else gets us people we got a first aid um, let's see, what can we do here? I know I want to play the combat training, so I'll just, I'll get that down. We're going to play these two to get the plus one attack, and now we're just, we'll have that, um, which is good. So we can, what can we do? We want to take him out, and we want to do the death glow attached to him, but are we going to be able to attach the death glow, or would we rather have at the... And then just knock off the tough. Okay, let's see. After the enemy with Teth, uh, we want to use Flight of the Valkyrie, so we have to attach Death Glow. So I'm not going to be able to play Havati. So I will spend that. We'll get Valhalla, like the Valhalla card. I don't think I'm going to end up having enough to do. what I want to do here. Actually, yeah, no, 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 no. This could potentially still work. I'm, okay, whatever. I'm going to discard the first aid. We're going to attach Death Glow to the Sentinel Mark V. 
um, too much stuff going on. So we are attacking for three, four, five. He has six health. Do we bring Throg in to knock it off? I think we just have Magneto swing and attack him. Yeah, so we are going to have Magneto swing. He goes up to two damage. He's going to do three damage onto the Sentinel Mark V. This doesn't give them any extra. No, okay. So he now has three damage on him. We will attack anyway with Valkyrie. So she's going to attack for five. Does eight damage onto him. Sentinel Mark VI goes away. His attachment goes away. Death Globe comes back. Things happen. So Flight of the Valkyrie goes off. We get to remove five threat from a scheme. Valhalla goes. We are going to uh, Magneto's out. We're going to have draw a card and then heal a damage up to 13. Okay, and then we are going to ready and Hall of Heroes gets one. Cool, all of our stuff here. So I can either put down a Throg and block for next turn, or I can have fun and attack and then do seven damage. I think we would rather do that for sure. Yeah, so we're gonna attack to get rid of the tough here. And then we're gonna play a Havati to deal seven damage. think we're good with all of that. So this goes down to seven. I forgot he only starts with 14 health. I was thinking he had more. Um, comes back to us. That's all we can do. We're going to ready up everyone here. We're going to draw up to one, two, three, four, five. Our hand size here. There's a piercing strike. Um, and then we're going to go over to Master Mold. So we put one on the main. Good with that. He's going to attack. We have a ton of health. We're just going to take it. And so we're going to do... He's attacking for five. And so we go down to eight health. And then we get our encounter card, which is a Sinister Strike. Okay, he's going to... We're going to place one Pursuit counter. And then the villain's going to attack us. Um... Yeah, you know, I think this time we're just going to throw Annabelle in front of this, which feels just brutal, um, is what it is, though. So he's attacking for three, four, five, six. Um, she's definitely handy when you get to grab cards, but we'll see. Okay, so it comes back to us, and that's all good. We will... What can we do here? We want to attach... Oh, no. So I guess we can attach Deathclaw for him. Two, ma two Master Mold and deal seven damage. So then we can do some stuff. Yeah, so we will... How do I want to deal the seven damage is the question. I'll spend a Superpower Training, which I don't think we've used yet now, to attach Death Glow to Master Mold. We can swing to attack him for five, so we need to do two damage which would be um, Spider-Girl's call. That would be okay. And then I can hang on to either Flight at the... because I'm going to be able to draw a card with Val Valhalla. And so at most I would be able to maybe draw a double and then um, play Flight of the Valkyrie. I don't know if we've seen all our doubles, but it's worth a shot. Um, I'm going to use these two to play Spider Girl. She comes in. She's going to attack Master Mold for two and take a damage. He goes down to five. And then we are now going to attack Master Mold for five. Two, three, four, five. So that defeats Master Mold. He goes into his next stage. He's going to come in with toughness and 16 health. And nothing else changes except he gets bigger stats. So he comes in with tough. Um, 
what can we do here? We can draw a card. So we do our stuff. He we heal one damage, draw a card, and it's a sunfire. That's fine. And then we ready. And we can just attack to get rid of the tough, I suppose. Attack, get rid of the tough, that's fine. And so what do we want to do? We might how many cards do we have left in our deck here? One, two, three. So we're gonna deck out regardless. Um, so we're good on Flight of the Valkyrie right now. Do I really, do I want Sunfire? Ah, we'll see what else we can get. Um, so I'm gonna draw three cards. We're gonna ready everyone up. Magneto, Magneto can just chill. He's gonna be our um, thwarter when things get out of hand here. So we're gonna ready all these up. We're gonna draw these three cards, Marvel Boy, Bug, and keep them busy. All right, so glad I didn't hang on to Sunfire because we don't need another ally. All right, so we're gonna shuffle these up. We get an encounter card. I'm gonna draw two more. Have at the and Piercing Strike. All fine. So, goes over to Master Mold. One's going on the main scheme here. He's attacking, we're gonna throw a spider drill in front of it. He's attacking for four, and then he gets tough. All right, that's fine. Thank you, spider girl. And now we get two encounter cards. Our first one being Master Mold's children. All right, we are in hero form, so he's gonna attack us. He's attacking for four plus a boost. Sheesh, and we have nine health. This isn't going to kill us, so <laughs> we will, we'll just take it, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We're Valk, this is what we do, right? So we're going to get attacked for four, and then we're going to place a counter on Pursuit by the Past. So we're going down from nine to five. We're going to sing the song, and then, um, let's see, so Master Mold is going to get another one. Okay, this one's not bad. We'll comes in with four. This is the virus protection and that works. So what can we do here? What makes sense? We're, we can play a piercing strike and have at the, how much damage can we do? Let's see, so he has 16 health. I should have, <laughs> I guess, attacked with Magneto last time, but Let's see, we can attack for four without Dragon fan, Fang. We can do, oh wait. No, we can't do Piercing Strike and have at the, oh, brutal. Um, <laughs> trying to think what we can do here. If we had Magneto knock off the tough, we would just be able to do a Piercing Strike and our four damage, which is not enough to take him out. Um, man, we really needed a minion. That stinks. So let's see. Ba -ba -ba, what will we do? Um, piercing strike. Well, I guess I could do piercing strike do as much as tack as I can and then hang on to a Havathi. But then we're exposing ourselves to a good amount of damage. Oh man, I am stuck here. So let's see, we're going to, I guess play a piercing strike. Or Marvel Boy, I guess, if I were to play him, spend one, he pierces through for two. We would be able to attack for then five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're still not able to do this. Sorry, I'm just trying to math here, and the math's not mathing. So. What can we do in the meantime? We might as well play a piercing strike. We'll do keep them busy and bug. Um, it's gonna deal three damage and pierce through the tough. 
So he's down to 13. We can Valhalla. Um, can't use that. Hang on to a have at the. Now nah, I'm going to flip down anyways. Yeah, so I might as well. I think I'm going to flip down. So I'm okay with this popping because what happens? We just get more minions and then we flip up and defeat them. So that's fine. I'm going to discard Marvel Boy to attach Death Glow. Then I'm going to go ahead and do that one extra damage. So we're attacking for five. So he comes down to um, eight. And then we're just going to have Magneto swing for three. So he's down to five health. Um, and we're okay with that popping. And he still has Death Glow on him right now. That works. That's all we can do. We're going to flip down um, so we don't die from getting attacked here. We're going to let the main scheme pop. So, uh, we might as well bring Death Glow off of him. No, we'll keep it on him. Oh, we're hoping to get minions. Nah, we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the um, Death Glow off of him because we're going to get minions that come in with guard. So, I'm hanging on to the have at the. I'm drawing six, five more cards. So, we have two, three, four, five, and six. Just not cards that we want. Um, Yuck. No, nothing to go grab minions. That's a bummer. So we're going to go over to Master Mold. He is going to put two on the main. So this goes up to four. Oh, yeah, this is popping. Um, he's going to scheme for three. And it's when Master Mold schemes against you, we discard. It's not after. So I don't know. Let's discard until we get our minion. So we're going to go find a Sentinel minion. Um, a Mark V. And we put that minion into play. Okay, so we're okay with a Mark V. I'm trying to think of the timing here because he is going to scheme for three. Does he also put it? Eh, we'll say he doesn't. So he's going to scheme for three and pop this. We're going to... Shuffle the encounter deck pile into the di discard pile into the encounter deck. And then we're going to discard until we get another Sentinel minion. Cool. And then we'll shuffle that some more. Okay, so we're going to discard one, two, three. Mark six comes in. Quick strike. We're putting them into play, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're in Alter Ego. So this is going to flip. Comes in with one. And then, I honestly, I don't know the timing of this, but I think they do scheme. So this is going to go up to three, which is dangerous. But we'll see what we can do. Unfortunately, we can't draw more cards. We are definitely not exhausted. Yeah. And oh, this is a huge bummer. So we have to. Um, We'll figure it out here. We're going to have to flip up. Hopefully Valhalla gr dra grabs us a Chooser of the Slain. So we will play one Flight of Valkyr. I'm trying to think of all my options here. We'll play a... I know I'm not... Eh, I don't know. I'll play a flight of, one Flight of Valkyr because we're not going to end up spending two. We're going to attach Death Glow to Sentinel Mark V. We now have two, three, four, five attack. We will attack him. This goes off. Sentinel Mark V goes away. Um, things happen. We get one on Hall of Heroes. Valhalla goes. We get um, a health up to six. And then we ready. And we draw a card. Another have at the, which is not. Ooh, potentially helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so what do we do? We win. So um, we're going to discard Energy Spear to attach Death Glow to Sentinel Mark VI. He has six health. Yeah, because we'll get to ready after this. Sorry, mental math here again. Um, I'll play these three to play Havathi. I'm going to deal seven damage to an enemy. 
it has death of glow, glow attached, so it gains overkill. So we blast through Sentinel Mark 5 or 6. One goes on. Things happen. We get another Hall of Heroes. Doesn't really matter. We um, Oh, I should have attacked him first. Either way, I, I yeah, we get to attack um, for four. Magneto can attack as well, but that's, he's gone. So a lot of crazy decisions with Valkyrie, but this is her, like, doing her thing. Like, I, I really enjoy Valkyrie. She shouldn't be as puzzly as I make her, but it is what it is. I need to play her more to understand what to do with her more. This was a fun match, so I hope you all enjoyed it.